Welcome Bears fans, NFL Draft fans. Um, if you're new to this, you're probably thinking, why is this guy got an English accent? If not, you know what I'm about and I'm going to get straight into it. You can see CJ Stroud there, but it's not CJ Stroud that we're looking at today. We're looking at Luke Whipler. Um, this is against Georgia, obviously a pretty good defence. There's some guy that's quite highly rated there as well, and I think his name is Jalen Carter. A lot of people like him, maybe a little bit more than me. So what we see here as well, and it, it, there's lots of uh, other tapes as well, because you've got basically uh, Paris Johnson Jr., Dewan Jones also there, draft prospects, so keep your eye on them on this tape as well. What we're interested in here though is Luke Whipple working this double team with the guard. Now the guard needs to really, he's half manning, but he's re really he's a little bit sticky on here, he's not quite to the outside shoulder which is where it needs to be so that Whippler can double and release. And the reason why I like this is because Whippler re see sees that he's too, still too square on Jalen Carter. He says okay I'm going to shove him and I'm going to go to the second level to the back out. Now the running back basically needs to cut it up inside there, but which he does you see, you see him cut up when he sees, when he sees basically he's reading that, he's not got, he sees a body there. So that's not the gap. He sees that the double's there, gonna cut back. Does the right job. Great block ball whipler to get down to the back on the second level. So it's a good start. And so we're into the second rep. We're looking at um, Whipler against Jalen Carter in this matchup here. I'm gonna roll it through and see what we can see on this, this rep here. Okay, so you can see past it again. What George does a lot to get pressure is lots of stunts and things like this. And you see Carter really trying to get into commit one way or another with this sort of hesitation move. You know, bobbing and weaving, ducking and diving, dropping his head one way, trying to go the other. Not really getting any help at all. The guard there sat with Whippler. They've got this blitz in the bag to be honest and the other guard's now looking for some work because he's only got three coming. Well four, include the blitzer and they're just picking it up really nicely so that's another good job. So we've seen Whippler work a couple of double teams in the run. Here we're going to see him reach the three tech which is again Jalen Carter. We're going to see both guard and tackle pull. Or it might be guard and tight end possibly pulling. But anyway the job is for Whippler to get down onto his three tech to seal this backside. Obviously for this counter coming across this way. Let's see how he does. So off the snap. So again shotgun snap and quite often when you're shotgun snapping there's an opposite. <laughs> There's a chance if you've got to go to a three tech to your right hand, that's probably one of the more difficult things you can do as a centre. But it's nicely located right in the chest of Stroud. Yes, he gets onto Carter. Carter is actually slanting towards the centre anyway as part of this overload stunt that we sort of see to this side of the field. So it's really, it's, it's kind of, yeah, the reach is working to his hand, but it also means that the impetus of Carter is coming straight to his body. Just watch him just work his feet and rotate and style, mate. And you see that nice sort of anchor shape that you see coming on here. You want to say the anchor shape, you want sort of almost like a bow shape coming up there to get your leverage against the defensive line. I mean, it does a great job, which is why the back can cut, cut back, but he just basically runs into his own tight end there. So if he's either got to decide to bounce it outside because this guy's head's down. So either you bounce it outside or he cuts straight back up there and he kind of does neither. He runs into the back of his offensive lineman. Whipple's block goes to Norton. You see him here still working on Jalen Carter. Actually getting good push at that point where he's gone from a stalemate into now drive. So that's good stuff. So this is the fourth rep. The reason why I've included this one is because sometimes things happen that you don't necessarily expect. Um, this is one of those where a blitz comes late and you're basically going to see Whipple go sort of off script because I mean in terms of on script he's probably going to be going to Carter here. Um, but you see Toa Toa, Toa come, come at the very last second into the A gap sort of well, double leg gap but his head up over the nose, uh, as like a nose and what he would be doing is you see everyone's basically zoning to the right he would normally be taking a double on here that would be the responsibility to one get down onto this this guy here but Toto to to is actually in the hole and <coughs> Whipple does a good job basically to steer him as if it's a zone block so now there's a nice cutback lane that comes off the back of Paris Johnson Jr with a nice down block on the 3 tech Carter Absolutely mullers him to be honest. I mean Carter plays up very often with blinkers. He doesn't see stuff like this coming from the side um, Which is he's a sucker for traps. Unfortunately, it's one of his downfalls, but they they struggle to get push up front on the other side um, You see Dewan Jones basically almost pushing his guy actually into the hole because he doesn't get placed out of his head but Whipler is who we're interested in toe to toe. Nice position block drives him completely out of the hole off the, off the screen of the picture so again, a great job by Luke with a nice job actually by the running back as well, getting some extra yak, and Dewan Jones at least staying in contact. 
Usually when you've got a four-man front, you're going to get help from at least one of your offensive linemen as a centre. That's the way it normally works. Here, Whipper does not get help from his uh, from a guard. And you see him, as 97 sort of swims past that guard, he doesn't even doesn't even pass it to be honest, doesn't even move his feet at all, which is why it creates a void behind him. But Whipple now has to control the chest plate, which you do. You see he gets one hand right into the chest plate. The other one's gone slightly to the side. It's not a hold though, because basically he's in a drive position. As he tries to sort of rip off, you see him then drive his feet, work his feet to stay in front. That's really good stuff there. So as he's trying to rip away there, all Whipple does basically is match his movement, driving his feet towards him, putting himself between him and the QB. He tries a spin move not happening that's great work by Whipler. that's why strad gets out of there at the end of the day he's down to whippler and on the back side you know the guard gets beaten 74 gets beaten to the inside really badly on that play uh, strad has to make a, a you know duck dive and dodge all the rest of it from dodgeball fans might get that reference uh, dewan jones on the floor which tends to happen when people get past these long arms um, there you go, Luke Whippler doing, again, singled against a defensive tackle who's, who's bigger than he is at the end of the day. Does a fantastic job in pass pro. Just to show that Whippler can do it against other people other than Georgia. Here he is against Lucas Van Ness. So Van Ness is actually here. A lot of people like him as a defensive end in a 4-3 or a 3-5. Uh, a 3-4. Um, here you see him actually lined up as a head-up nose, which is interesting because you know, a lot of people have projected him in at 3 tech. Let's see what Whipler does anyway on this rep. So as you see, we're going to roll into the snap. And you've got Jack Campbell coming off the back as well there by the looks of it. Guard picks him up. So we're singled there. The back needs to make a decision on who he's got there. But Whipler sees that slant across. And as he slants across, he just slides to the right, just matches him with his feet. It's a good feet, a good base. You see how he's sort of doing that sideward step, but he's always one foot on the ground and one foot off as he swaps them. So he's not crow hopping per se. As Van Ness tries to get into a drive there, where he straightens up and starts to try and drive, look at Whipler just basically working his hands. I don't know if you can see it in here, but in that position there, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, which I can. So what we're going to see here, as, as they start working the hands against each other, so as he gets into a drive position there, you see Van Ness start to try and extend. Whipler drops his hand down under the elbow, starts to get up his left hand, on the elbow to push it to get it off the centre, then he gets help from the guard anyway. But Whipler actually has done the job himself there, so that's really good work again. Just a couple more reps, we're going to see a zone block here, so as we start to roll into the play, you see the motion come across and it's, it's zoning in the opposite direction. So you're going to get a double on 95, try and work to second level, so 74 can get down to 31. As you see, as Whipler actually gets a push on 95, he collapses. Where, so, whereas this guard is actually trying to get to 31, um, because this guy goes down, Whipple just is smart enough, and this, this shows that sort of very quick reaction to say, okay, well, he's, he's in front of me, he's my target now, I'll get on him and I'll chase him down. At the end of the day, you know, he does get onto the body. The reason why this play fails at the end of the day is on the backside, uh, you've got Jackson Smith and Jigger looking outside, not inside. So, 44 is the, is the actual target. And I think he gets, I'm not sure if it's called for a face mask there, he doesn't. He's just trying to rip the ball. But again, what does Whipler do? He does the right job. Works his double. The guard can't get up to 31, so he does. So that's really good work in a very short span of time. So we're going to see Whipler this time show you how to work a double block. So 55, the guard this time gets onto 99. He's also got a hand on 92, which is pretty good work. Gets a hand on the shoulder of 99. See that left shoulder come up with the defensive tackle. He's actually doing the right thing here, the defensive tackle. This is called a wrong shoulder technique, which we'll cover when we look at defensive linemen. So he's trying to split the double and get the wrong shoulder on, on that. But look at Whipley. See him get his head play side past the shoulder. You see him get that head past the shoulder. That's why the zone block works. You see, now he's got in front of the man. Keeps him driving. There's the cutback lane off the back of it for the running back what a fantastic job to finish with if you like this video don't forget to comment subscribe like share all of that gubbins or you can throw me some shade or hate you can tell me what you liked about it what you didn't like but this was luke whipler he's the center in the nfl if your team needs one and you play zone or um, power for that matter he's a pretty good option to have um, so i hope you enjoyed the video and with that take care bear down